Our first kind of input that we're going to take a close look at is NDI. NDI is available on all TriCaster models. So no matter which model you're using, you'll be able to take advantage of this method of input. In order for NDI to operate correctly, you do need to connect the wired ethernet port on the back of your TriCaster to your network, and it must be operating at at least one gigabit speed. Now TriCaster Mini 4K systems and only these systems do have a special NDI direct connect support. This unit has a multi-channel ethernet card. This does allow you to directly connect NDI devices like cameras or converters to the unit and they can operate. For all other TriCaster models, it would be expected that you're going to connect your TriCaster to a network switch, and then all of your NDI devices would connect to the switch. You can use a network switch with a TriCaster Mini 4K as well. It's just that the Mini 4K does support this direct connect functionality. Let's take a look at getting NDI sources into our TriCaster system. So here we are on my TriCaster system, and I have opened up the session we created from our power on test. And we're now in the live desktop. And first, let me show you how you open up an input, and then we'll take a look at how we connect the proper source to it. So on our primary interface, you can see this area at the top that's a multi-view that allows us to see all the different sources that we have available. And you can see that we've got an area called input one, input two, three, and so on. And of course you have as many of these inputs as are available on your TriCaster system. If you put your pointer right above the word input, you'll see that some controls appear, right? Right now there's no video in here, so it's blank. But if you look in the corner, you'll see that there's a gear and each window will have its own gear. So this is the gear for input one. This would be the gear for input two, the gear for input three, and so on. So if you click on the gear for the appropriate input, that will open this window. And now we can configure what video we want to have come into this input. Now, if the window is not on the input tab, just navigate to this tab by clicking on it. And normally you'll just see the source at the top. And this shows you what the current video source for this input is. Now, if it says local black, like mine does, that means that this input is effectively disabled or it's really just a black video source. So we can change this to something else by clicking on this drop down, and then you'll see all these different options appear. Now, the local category is basically going to be for anything that isn't NDI. So in all the upcoming video sources we're going to look at in the next class sections, we're going to be using the local option for all of those. But since we're looking for NDI sources, everything else below the word local is NDI. Now, what you'll see on your system depends. It depends upon the devices you have and the sources you've got set up and the names of your computers or systems. These are all the NDI sources we can see on my network. And let me go pick a few and just so you can see them operate. So let's just start with uh, going to this system and I have a test signal being generated in NDI on it. So I'll select it and you can see that appearing on the screen. And now if I want to set up input two with something else, I'll click its gear. Let's go pick a camera in this case. I'm going to go select this camera and there it is. And you can see that camera now pointing at me and let's go do one more. I'll click the next gear and we will go pick a converter. So this is a HDMI to NDI converter. I'll select that off the list and you can see it also is a camera pointed at me. In this case, it's not an NDI camera. It's a camera with an HDMI output, but I'm able to turn it into NDI and use it. One thing I want you to notice is that some of these NDI sources will have a button that says device web page next to them. If the NDI device has an embedded web page, you can click on this button, which will open up the interface. Uh, you'll probably have to log in with whatever the appropriate information is. And then this will allow you to access whatever web settings are available for that device. And with some devices like a camera, you can set up additional color information or settings on the camera with NDI converters. You may be able to change their name or change some aspects around their network setup. 
So just be aware that some things will have that. This source does not have an embedded web page, so you notice there is no button that appears. It will only appear if the NDI device says it has this embedded web page. But using NDI, we can go in and set up as many inputs as we want and then use them in our production.